Uh, important thing I think I helped out with at the Smithsonian was the acquisition of Smithsonian of Folkways Records. Folkways was a long live documentary uh, uh, recording company, small, coming out of New York, but it recorded Woody Guthrie and Pete Seeger and Lead Belly, but also the sounds of American Indians and pygmies from Africa and ritual music from India and so on. A great collection, a documentary record of human musical creativity. Uh, in the 1980s, the owner of that, Mo Ash, was elderly. The family wanted to transfer the collection to the Smithsonian, but we didn't have any money for it. Bob Dylan came to the Smithsonian, was at the Folklife Festival. He had worked with my mentor, Ralph Rinsler, uh, an eminent uh, musicologist and documenter in the, uh, uh, of the folk revival. And uh, Dylan agreed to do a benefit album. He enlisted Bruce Springsteen, uh, Bono, Willie Nelson, and others. We did a wonderful recording. It won a Grammy. It made a lot of money. And what they did is they covered Woody Guthrie and Lead Belly tunes from the collection. And what you had, to me, was the idea that contemporary artists of great stature, like Springsteen, like Bono, like Dylan, uh, like uh, John Mellencamp and Emmy Lou Harris and others that participated in that album, they knew the value of this music, of this historical documentation. And so the reason the Smithsonian acquired this was to try to inspire future generations and the fact that great musicians of the day understood that and helped support it, I think, was, uh, was a signal accomplishment at the Smithsonian.